the genus Peperomia is made up of over 1,000 species. They may vary in appearance, but many of their characteristics are the same. They all have a thick, stout stem, fleshy leaves, and relatively tall conical spikes bearing tiny flowers. Many Peperomia species are grown as ornamental houseplants because of their attractive foliage and growth form. They are easily propagated by cuttings, which has allowed propagators to find and perpetuate many variegated cultivars. Variegated simply means that the plant has leaves that exhibit different colors than the wild type plant. Typically these colors are produced in irregular patches or streaks. Peperomia plants illustrate this well because they are easy to propagate by both stem and leaf cuttings. When preparing cuttings, you must first cut sections of stem from an established plant. We are separating our stems into two node cuttings. This means that each cutting will contain two nodes. About one centimeter below the second node, we want to cut on an angle to increase the surface area. Cutting in this area gives the plant the best chance to produce adventitious roots. We also want to remove all but one of the leaves from the cuttings. This way the plant is less likely to lose water through evapotranspiration. We can then also use these leaves for our leaf cuttings. All of the cuttings will be planted in perlite and then placed in a mist frame to prevent the cuttings from drying out. After a couple of weeks, cuttings can be removed from the mist frame as they should be well rooted. There can be some variation in the amount of roots formed per cutting. If no roots have formed at all, you can always recut the bottom and put them back into the mist frame. The rooted cuttings are repotted into a standard potting mix. In a few weeks, you will be able to see new leaves growing from the stem cuttings. It will take a little bit longer for the leaf cuttings to produce new leaves. About eight months, the plants produced by leaf cuttings will look something like these. As you can see, there is variation in how much they have grown. But as expected, you can also see that most of the new plants being produced have reverted to the dark green wild type, while only a few mutants have been produced. <laughs> 